welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today I have a really exciting video for you guys. So on Tuesday, I put out the video, which I will link here in the eye, of my tour and the footage from the actual dressmaking factory. Uh, if you want more history on that, definitely go and check out Stephanie Canada's video. She did an interview with the owner. Um, and then today, uh, I'm going to do my haul. Um, I also know Drew will be putting out a haul, so I'll also link that up in the eye. Um, so you have lots of fun videos to watch around this dress factory. Uh, I know Stephanie, Drew, and I all hauled really different things. So yeah, this is going to be my haul. Um, and let me go get my haul. <laughs> uh, here this is. Uh, so we're in for a bit of a haul on this video. All right, so yes, uh, and in case you were wondering while reading this bag, it does say no buts about it, colonoscopies stay with lives. Uh, I don't know where I picked up this bag or why I have it, but uh, I think it's hilarious. So, you know, if you're that age, go schedule your colonoscopy, because health first. But let's jump into this haul. Let me clear all this nonsense uh, off the table. <sighs> oh my goodness, it's all so heavy. So for clothing, I got two of these sets, so I'll pull them both out. I only did one try on for you guys for these, uh, but they're really cute. <laughs> this one's like inside out. Uh, little uh, like top and bloomer sets uh, for like sleeping. I'm super excited about these. I feel like I don't really have cute pajamas, like so I thought it was super fun to pick these up and they're super lovely and I got, yeah, the set in yellow and the set in green. Uh, you know me, I love a classic white slip, so I picked one up. Uh, this one's just, it's nice. Uh, it's nice quality. Um, so I think all of these are Gil, Gilly, 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 Gilly. No, this one is Shadowline slip, uh, which I guess was like one of the premium slip brands, I think, from what I heard. Um, and then I got this really cute house dress uh, to clean in, I guess. Uh, this probably won't leave the home. Um, but I do super love it and I love, oh no, I just think it's cute. I guess with a belt, I would maybe wear it out. Uh, and then I got this really lovely set from, this is like 70s lingerie. The bummer about this one, and I've already tried, uh, so if you have any recommendations on how to get this stain out, I've already tried OxyClean, um, and I've tried washing it a few different ways. Uh, so it might just be set in there, but that doesn't bother me too much because this is homeware. Um, and then it also has a matching bed jacket that's really pretty. Uh, and I just really love the floral embroidery on this. And then I also got this really beautiful bridal lingerie set. Um, I'll probably never use it for its intended purpose. I'll probably like vacuum in it or something like that. Uh, but I just thought it was super lovely. Um, and I picked both of these sets up. Oh, there's a spot in this one. So I did the laundry, I cleaned them, and then a certain cat had issues and uh, got it all over my clothing. So that was neat, uh, huh, spooky. She's like sleeping peacefully, not aware that she's being accused. Uh, but this one I have to rewash. I already rewashed this one. Uh, it is what it is. Cats are like children. Guess not technically clothing, but I feel like clothing adjacent because I'm gonna turn them into clothing. Um, I got a bunch of really lovely bed linens uh, that I'm going to do the usual cleaning and retro clean and then work on making them into something. They have some really beautiful border prints and since I have matching sets, I actually have more like fabric to work with that's similar. So yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to use all these. Uh, they're super lovely. Let me show you one more. I'm so super excited about that. You can see the footage over in my other video, but I just picked up this bra. We'll see if it works well for me at all or anything. Uh, usually old fashioned bras don't, um, but there were so many of them and I could actually like pick out my size. So I thought I'd give it a go. And then I feel like I should talk about sewing notions before anything else. Uh, so I have a few nonsensical things. Uh, let me find, clearly I did a great job organizing this. Um, so I have a second bag of zippers like this. Uh, you know me, I'm a sucker for a metal zipper, so uh, I bought more because that's really what I need, right? <laughs> um, and then in here, uh, I'll show you them individually, but I just got a bunch of different buttons and things that are super cute. Um, and then this here, I'm super stoked on. I've been kind of like casually looking for one of these, but this is a, ooh, excuse me. This is like a self-marking hem tool. Uh, you somehow put chalk in this and then you can mark your own hem to straighten it and level it, which is great for me because I have 
no ability to do that since I live alone. Um, so hopefully this tool will help me out. Um, I laughed because I think everybody said it's not like their husbands would be helpful for that, but I'm like, you at least have the option. I have a three-legged cat for assistance and that's it. I am pretty excited about the trim as well. Uh, so this first bit of trim is a really, really wide um, like border trim. I think it's super lovely and I'm really excited to use it. Um, this will probably just go along the bottom of a hem of a dress. Um, and I really like that it's like tri-colored. Um, a lot of those trims for like are usually like mono monochromatic. And then we've got, I love this lace. Uh, it's like pretty little uh, blue flower, pretty little blue flowers that I think will look lovely on things. Uh, and then we have some lovely pink little daisies. Uh, I showed some of this in the box I got from Heather. Uh, I'll link that up in the eye as well. Uh, but I love the daisy trim they had there. So when I saw it, I got it. Um, and then I have this really lovely, oh, sorry, teacup, uh, blue lace trim. Um, there's some discoloration in it, but I think there's enough of it that I can avoid the discolored parts. Uh, I just think this is super, super lovely and will look great. Um, and some of these are like just like chiller than some of the other trims I have, so they'll be hard, like less hard to match. Um, this one, however, will be harder to match. This is a cute little pink ribbon trim uh, that I super love and I'm really excited about. And then this is some like frothy white flower trim that I think you can do a lot with. Like I feel like this can go along the hems and add an extra fun hem detail or it could go anywhere in the garment and you could point it up and down and kind of have some different play because of like the curve it has. So I'm super excited about that and I have a good amount of yardage. Uh, we also have, oh goodness, um, this trim here, which I think is so beautiful. Um, and this one I think could be really pretty along a neckline flipped up or around a hemline flipped down. I think there's just a lot of options for this. Uh, I think right now I have so much white trim. I feel like I need to make a white dress where I put a bunch of trim on it. Um, and yes, I know that seems very wedding-y, but it's fine. Um, and then these here, I have this one and I have this one. These are two different bags of, they're actually cut apart daisies, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I think they're super cute though. And I can like kind of, I could put them together if I wanted to, or I could keep them apart like they are. Um, now we're in for some of the extra good stuff. I'm just gonna pull out a uh, bunch of trim. We're kind of down to like the smaller amounts. This is a really lovely purple flower on a white lace trim that I think will again go lovely with things. And then this here is a pink one that I think would look really pretty in seams kind of poking out. Uh, so that's my plan for this one. Um, and then this is just some fun embroidered stuff that I think is really pretty as lot well as this one. This one I liked because it was so multicolored and bright. Uh, I have no idea really how I'm gonna use it, but I thought it was so pretty. And then we'll show you one more plain white trim and then we're down to the really fun stuff. We're down to the sparkles. Um, I tried to refrain from buying too many sparkles, but I did buy some. Um, but this here is just some really lovely white trim that I like because this like lattice work within, you can put in a channel for either elastic or like a ribbon to make a drawstring. I'm so super excited about that. Um, we also have, let me try to get everything besides the sparkles out for now. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's it almost. Yeah. Um, so this here is some really lovely light blue, like kind of pom-pom trim again. I think this will look really pretty in the seams of things. Uh, and then we have kind of some random bits of short trim, uh, nothing too exciting there. Uh, this trim, I super love this one. Um, they look like little pink cherries and you know I love a cherry. Uh, and so I'm really excited about these. I think they're so pretty and they're pink. And as you all know, I don't really enjoy red. So to find some pink cherry trim is super exciting for me. Um, and then these are just another set of daisies. These are actually the like pink, white and blue, which I really like. And then this has some little flower trim. Um, you can cut these apart. Actually, let me see where I put it. Um, this jar here, actually has a bunch of these cut up down at the bottom of it. This is just a jar of applique. I thought it was a cute little jar. Uh, if you know what Sanka is, let me know. Uh, this is the product container it's in. Um, and I don't know what it is. Um, and then this is some cute little black pom-pom trim that I thought was really special looking and I really enjoy. And I love pom-poms, especially black pom-poms. And these ones are like kind of weird and silky and less like poofy than other pom-poms. Um, 
could talk about pom-poms for way too long, I feel like. Uh, and then here, we're in for some sparkle. Oh my goodness, so much sparkle, all the sparkle. Uh, so this bag here, I'll show you some close-ups. These are some really nice sparkly appliques. If you wanna see more really nice sparkly applique, Drew will have hauled some in her video. She hauled some of the prettiest sequin and sparkle trim I've ever seen in my life. This is also really pretty, but this is like less of the delicateness that that one does. Uh, so these ones here, oh my goodness, we'll just show. Uh, this here, I'll show you obviously up close. They look like little seashells. Uh, and I think they're super cute looking and I'm excited to make some sort of mermaid themed something. And then we have some really sparkly rickrack. This has little pearls in the middle and then some silver sparkles around the edges and is the shape of rickrack. This here is just kind of like fun. Uh, I don't know, it's little pearls with little silver around it. It's kind of like the rickrack. So maybe I'll make those together in a garment. And then the cool or like the like most delicate trim that I got in a like larger yardage. Wow, the sun just came out and so now I'm not needing my studio lights. So it's really lit in here, guys. I didn't expect the sun to come out today. It's been kind of a rainy train wreck in Seattle lately, which I know, I know it rains here, but like it doesn't rain here as much as like everybody thinks it rains here. But here there is some really lovely delicate pearl trim that I really like. Uh, so that's kind of it on the sparkly trim. Actually, I think that's it for the trim in general. So we're gonna clear our thing. Patterns, but I'm gonna do patterns and then fabric because I didn't pick up that many patterns. Uh, so I picked up this McCall's 5790. I just thought this was really pretty. It's a uh, Laura Ashley pattern um, and I love Laura Ashley's things. Um, and then I also picked up a McCall's 5761. Um, I'm not sure which cabinet these came from, but I do know Stephanie Canada will be selling a ton of these in her shop. So definitely check that out and she might have some duplicate patterns to what I found here. Uh, I really like this one. This one's a tiered kind of ruffled dress. It doesn't include the belt, but I have plenty of belts, so that's fine. Um, and then this is kind of like a cute little jumper. I could see this just being layered really well with a long sleeve shirt. Um, and then, the, oh, and that was McCall's 57F four, five, uh, and then McCall's five, seven, three, zero. Is this really cute? It kind of looks like a gunny sack shirt. Um, it has like lots of trim options and things like that. I really like specifically view B and I'm sure I'll be making that up soon. Um, and then last, uh, I don't know how I ended up with this pattern. I think I looked at it and I didn't even really like it that much, but now I have it. Uh, I got a size small of this. It's kind of this weird, 70s dress that doesn't have much shape to it with then this weird like I don't know how else to describe it but a dicky vest over it um so we'll see if I ever make this or if it just kind of sits in my collection as a novelty because I definitely picked this up and was like oh this is kind of weird and then I like held on to it somehow and here it is to this day uh in my home so last, we're gonna jump into fabrics. The first two fabrics I'm gonna show you, you will have seen in Drew's haul as well. Uh, we kind of split up the bolts of fabric on these ones. Uh, this is a really nice red, white, and blue patterned fabric. And then this one is a very lovely like floral. It's a bit heavier. Uh, and so this one I can see myself using for kind of like lighter summer dresses. And this one will be definitely kind of more for, there's like a certain structured 40s cut like dress that I really like using this a heavy of a fabric for because I feel like it adds a good weight and makes it very like fall for me, um, even though I know this is kind of more of a spring color. Um, so super excited about those and definitely check out Drew's video for the other fabrics she got because these are only two that overlap. I also got, well, let me, let me find both of these. I have so much yardage of this, it's ridiculous, uh, but I'm super excited about it. This is a really lovely floral print. You saw me get this in the uh, the tour of the store, whatever you wanna call that video. Uh, you saw it in my location-based video. Uh, so it has flowers and then it has these really subtle stripes in it that I really, really like and I'm super excited about. Uh, for some reason there was like a little bit on the roll and then a lot on the roll. I really honestly probably could have just bought this amount of fabric because I'm just planning on making a 70s dress out of it. Uh, but I guess it'll probably get a 70s and a 50s dress made out of it. Um, and then next up, uh, this is one of probably like the daintiest fabrics I picked up. I picked up a lot of really loud fabrics, uh, but I thought this one was super lovely. Uh, I'll definitely be showing some sort of close up, but it has these really pink and blue flowers. I just really love the way this fabric looks like how it was printed. Uh, I think it's so pretty and it'll definitely be a spring dress and hopefully I'll make a video of me making a spring dress with this sometime in the six month-ish future because we're a bit away from spring right now. 
Um, and then this is kind of more of a fall fabric, but I don't know if I'll get around to making a dress for it this fall because it's a bit lightweight for fall. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like fall leaves, but it also reminds me of crab apple season. Um, where I am from, we had a lot of crab apple trees, and so like kind of around this time of the year, all the crab apples would start to fall off the tree. And these just like look like those crab apples to me. They don't look like they don't look like any other type of fruit but a crab apple. So I picked it up because it just kind of like reminded me of crab apples. Uh, I don't know. Um, next up, I really love this fabric. This is a beautiful embroidered. Uh, it's like awkward because most of these fabrics are folded the wrong way. Um, but this is a really lovely embroidered border print that is so pretty. So I picked this one up um, and it has a good amount of yardage to it. Uh, my plans for this one, if you wanna stay tuned and subscribe to my channel till Valentine's Day, I think I'm gonna make a cute little Valentine's Day dress out of this. Uh, I don't do really celebrate Valentine's Day and I don't really date. Uh, so with that, uh, who knows? Um, but I do think this is rather lovely and I'm excited to make my dream Valentine's Day dress and take myself out for Valentine's Day in it. Um, Next up, I want to note that Stephanie Canada, she is selling fabric by the yard in her shop from this factory. So this is one of the ones that I think she has. I think I bought like some of the yardage off of it. So if you're interested in this fabric, she should be listing it hopefully, or it's already sold out and too bad. Um, but I just thought this was so lovely. I have no idea what I'm doing with this yet, but I have a, a ton of it. So we will see, um, we'll see, see, see what happens, uh, but it's wild. Uh, maybe a jumpsuit. I'm not really a jumpsuit gal though, so maybe it'll be a maxi dress. I don't know, but it's going to be fabulous, whatever it is. And then this is another fabric uh, that I picked up some off of her roll. So she has more of this fabric probably for sale or she kept it for herself. Who knows? But definitely, again, check out her shop. Uh, for any fabrics from this place, uh, but this is just such a wild, fun, cool, like 70s fabric. Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna be bold and I'm gonna make the statement that I would really like to make some pants or something out of this, like a pantsuit. I think this would make a wild pantsuit. Uh, I would also like to make a dress out of it, so we're gonna see how many garments I can eke out of the amount of fabric I bought in this, because it's so fun and I love it so much. Um, and so the last three fabrics, we're down to the last three. Um, super excited about these. So the, I'll show you the first two together. Um, these are both wools. Uh, we have this really lovely colorful wool and this really lovely white and gray wool. Uh, so my plans with these plaids is I think with this one, I have less wool. So I think I'm gonna make a cape out of it. Um, I think this would make a really lovely cape. Uh, and a cape is just more, I don't know, it feels more fun like this fabric. Uh, so that's kind of my plan for that. Uh, I could make a skirt out of it, I don't know. Well, we'll kind of see, but I feel like I have my heart set on cape a little bit. And then this is a really nice wool. I'm hoping I have enough of this wool to make a jacket. Uh, both of these wools stink. Uh, what I will say is like all the fabric coming from this factory smells really, really musty. And it, it comes out in the wash, but uh, I haven't washed any of this yet because I, live in an apartment where I have to pay for my washer and dryer. So it's just gonna be a bit of a process. Uh, but I really love these wools and I'm super excited about them. And I'm excited to hopefully make my first coat on this channel. Hopefully you will see this one get made into a coat in the next few months if I have enough of a yardage. Uh, Cause I like, I like a full length coat. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, uh, as you can see, I have just a few yards of this. Oh. I think you probably saw that. That just scared the crap out of me. But uh, this I am so excited about. Uh, so this is a beautiful flocked black and white fabric. Um, this one is also super stinky, but this one I'm gonna um, push a picture here, I guess. Uh, but this one actually came in its original packaging and it even had the tags that the dressmaker would stitch into it to tell you how to care for the garment. So I know this is machine wash warm. Uh, super fun for me. I'm gonna have to wash this in like five length like five yardage lengths because there's no way I can wash it kind of like the way it is in this massive 
I don't know how many yards of this I have. This was one that I should have bought what I wanted and sent the rest with Stephanie. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I just got overwhelmed and forgot to do that uh, because uh, I have so much of this and while I'm very excited about it, uh, I don't need, I mean, I could probably make eight or nine garments, I think, with the yardage I have here, which is a little much. Uh, so yeah, uh, so we're gonna figure that out. Uh, and I think that is where we end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Definitely subscribe and stick around if you wanna see all these things get made into things. Uh, I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna make the bold statement that I think I want to be adding, so right now I upload one video a month of me sewing. Uh, a garment I would really like to probably starting in November or uh, let's be honest starting in January next year which I know is so far away uh, I'm gonna try to start getting two videos a month of me sewing a garment up so you can slowly see me wait work my way through all this stuff but I'm super excited about it uh, I was so thankful for this trip and the opportunity to meet Stephanie Drew Heather and Felicia like I said check out their channels especially check out Stephanie's store. Everything's gonna be linked down in that description. So check them all out. It was so fun. We laughed so much and definitely check out Stephanie and Drew's videos about this. I believe Heather also has one up, um, but look for them. They're super fun. Maybe I'll make a little playlist uh, of all our videos if you want to watch all the footage about this factory. <laughs> that is it for this video. I will see you next time. Bye.